Hello everybody, happy Friday. I decided to go ahead and do a weekend vlog this weekend. It is Mother's Day weekend. We actually have a lot that we plan on doing, uh, starting with the fact that I just put on makeup for the first time in a minute and I just used this palette. I just got this, okay? Hear me out. I don't watch YouTube videos or YouTube videos. I don't watch uh, makeup videos like at all anymore. I've actually unsubscribed from like everybody, but I stay subscribed to Leah Janae because I've known Leah for my camera's not focusing i've known leah for many years so i'm like i stay subscribed because i really like her she uploads often and i watch pretty much all of her videos she does really cool like tj maxx shop with me's and stuff that i really enjoy but wet and wild came out with a spongebob collection and i wasn't gonna buy anything because like i don't buy new makeup but i saw the palette and i was like i kind of want this so i found it at walmart i don't remember how much it was i'm gonna guess 15 I don't know it's wet and wild um it was the last one on the little stand so i grabbed it so this is the spongebob nautical nonsense palette like get out of here this is so funny the colors are actually pretty colorful obviously i went very neutral i used like this one this one a little bit of this one this one and this one but i mean you could go crazy i almost used the green in like my inner corner but it was kind of jarring for someone who hasn't worn makeup in a very long time so I'm full face i even have lipstick on which is crazy because i don't even you guys if you've been watching my channel for a very long time i used to own so much lipstick specifically mac lipsticks so many mac lipsticks and like two three four years ago i threw most of them away these are the only two lipsticks i still own i have some liquid lips from like kylie and then this little like steela one which is really cute but these are like the only two lipsticks i own now if you've like i said if you've been watching me for a long time i was super into makeup i even bought a bunch of these little like lipstick trays which i could probably find a different use for now but i have like three of them this was like my liquid lipstick one i have a ton of them but they're all empty oops but full face on i need to go get dressed i'm actually wearing one of the coolest shirts ever custom made um i need to go get dressed i need to get reagan's hair done i need to straighten my hair just so it's not super frizzy because i washed it the other night and we have stuff to do so let's go do that stuff okay so my hair is straightened i'm gonna probably wear my glasses because like i can't see otherwise but i just straightened my hair and i put some like stuff in it and i got dressed i haven't quite decided if i'm gonna roll up the like bottoms in my shorts yet or not but i have this really cute like ruffled sleeve um bodysuit from target this is so stinking cute but it's a little tight so like i'm figuring it out and then i have these shorts on these are from american eagle these are old i've had these since maybe right after avery i'm not quite sure i don't get rid of clothes very often but i think this is what i'm gonna wear i need to get like a full length mirror for our bedroom that's like on my list of stuff to get um we might go to at home this weekend it's like a huge like furniture store in like north austin i've never been to one before i'm very excited because i've seen that they have the full length mirrors of course it's a huge like furniture store so we might do that this weekend if not we'll probably do it another weekend but I need one of those so I can show you guys. But this is really cute. And I just have to figure out what shoes I'm going to wear. Probably sandals, TBH. But let me get Avery. Or Avery? Oh, she's not even here. Let me get Reagan ready. That's where we're going. What is it, Brian? The Q2 Stadium. The Q2 Stadium. Ah! This is where Austin FC is going to play eventually. Uh, ah! they've had, yes, Reiki. They've had a lot of away games so far. But we're going to go to the Verde store. And I'm very excited. sorry it's annoying um we're at the stadium right now but i'm not gonna bring my camera in because i have the smallest purse on the planet it doesn't hold my camera but i will try and vlog on my phone i'm super excited we're going to the verde store brian's mother's day gift to me is a jersey and i'm super stoked about it and we're gonna see if we can get some stuff for the girls i'm so excited to see the stadium i we love soccer and we love MLS and the fact that Austin has a team finally has something has some sort of sporting team you know because Austin has like no sports teams um, but I'm super stoked to go in there and check out the stadium 
I would love to be able to go to a home game, but like I just you have to pay like $50 right now to be on like a wait list to potentially get tickets. So it's like kind of a gamble for this season, but Reggie's back there mad at me. So we're gonna head in real quick. It's been a minute since uh, we've checked in. Whoa, what scared me? We went to the stadium. We act Well, what I showed you guys was the back end of the stadium. We had to end up um, going around to the front to the parking because I think they're building the parking lot right now, right? Yes. Yeah, so like it was a little bit confusing, but we figured it out. Obviously, the entire stadium is closed, so the only thing we could get into was the Verde store, which was, oh, so nice. I got my jersey. They don't have all of the players jerseys they just have what the two captains and yeah, that's a, Dominguez yeah, pretty two, much yeah. um so because I'm pretty sure he was like our Dominguez is like our biggest get our, yeah. What's our foreign what's get. yeah he's like our biggest one but I didn't want any of those I wanted a Stroud jersey so I'm just gonna wait off for a Stroud jersey but I did get a jersey I just got a plain one and then we got a scarf or you got a scarf we got a flag yep. a car decal which is crazy because like I we never put decals on our car. And then um, we were gonna, oh, you got a cup, like a little a little yeah. Yeti, What? it's not a tumbler. It's for, for cans. For, yeah, it holds cans, yeah. It's so cool, I'll sh it's, we'll show you guys everything. It's an elevated beer koozie. I'll show you guys everything, but then what I wanted to say was, I was this close to dropping a good $300 on children's jerseys, but I talked myself out of it because the kids grow so quickly, and I was like, not worth it but I did get them t-shirts and you guys will see and they're so cute Avery's is just like so her so we that bird just almost yeah wanted to die <laughs> I almost a bird just flew in front of our car and like, I'm pretty sure I tapped it like yeah he got, he, he nice. wanted to die today that was crazy okay and then afterwards we ended up going to the domain for lunch we had culinary dropout which is our personal favorite what is your favorite thing to get a culinary Brian my favorite thing that you stole? I totally stole it because it is absolutely delicious. I've had it before and I believe it's Nick's favorite as well. It's really good. It's a pastrami sandwich. The turkey pastrami yeah. sandwich. They, honestly, every single thing on Culinary's menu is amazing. It's, I've gotten their fried chicken before, it's fantastic. We, get, we got their deviled eggs, we've gotten their pierogies, I've tried their nachos. Their pretzels, really like everything is so good. So we got some lunch with Reggie, who was like the dream up until about five minutes until it was time to go. Yeah, but they it's because they brought her food earlier. Which is she always finished nice, eating. Yeah. And then like our food didn't come until she was done eating. So she was like, all right, ready to go. Yeah. See, I like when they do that, but I also hate it. <laughs> yeah. And then afterwards, we just hit up the Amazon bookstore because it was right across the street. So I'll show you guys what we got there too. Brian picked out so many dang books. Yep. And they were all really cheap, which is nice. So. I'll show you guys everything when we get home. Okay, we are home now and I just got changed because like, I wanna be comfortable. And also, I was thinking, okay, big brain moment. Hey, I don't wanna put makeup on two days in a row this weekend, but I wanna get a Mother's Day picture. So why don't I get changed into a dress later and have dresses that are like matching from the like, it was like a mom, daughter, sister, girl matching line from target it was really cute um the girls have two dresses from there that are really cute so maybe we'll do that later so that way i can get my mother's day picture out of the way and i don't have to wear makeup two different times this week so love that for me i just got a wax package in the mail which was like oh, smelled so heavenly so excited to haul that but i'm going to show you guys what we got so this is the stuff from oh cute the verde store Real cool, real cool. Um, so it's kind of a mess. So this is the the flag, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Is it black? No, it's not. But this is what it's going to look like. I think we're gonna hang this in our garage, so that's pretty cool. Or if not in our garage, in Brian's room. Whichever. Um, this is our car decal, which we should probably leave out anyway, so we can put that on. This is the little um, thing Brian was talking about. This is like a fake can, obviously, but it's a little Yeti Austin FC. I really like this. I think it's really nice. He has one of these. It's just like plain Yeti. It's like um, like how we have our these. He's got another one like that, but just plain. It's cool. Can you back out of the wax, please, Ray? Thank you. Um, and then he got this scarf. They actually had a lot of scarf options, which was very cool. So this is the scarf that he got the same thing on both sides 
very nice and then for the girl well i'll start with me so i like i said i just got a the basic jersey um with nobody's name on it um and i got the official jersey so it has the patches on it so this is their home home jerseys which we haven't really gotten to see yet well we have with the preseason game but uh they've been playing the past three games they've played away and i'm pretty sure their first home game isn't for a while actually the u.s women's national team actually gets to play in the stadium before they even do which is funny um so the first home game is in june june 19th so they literally are playing like seven or eight away games before they even come home so anyway this is their home jersey sick it has the net spend and then the mls patch on it and like i said i didn't get anybody's name on the back if i would have i would have got stroud but they didn't have any stroud jerseys so that's my jersey and then the girls so this is cute i think avery's really gonna like this one and it's cute because it's got little ties on the end and it's like kind of crop top ish i feel like she could wear it now and it'll be oversized and then as she gets older she can continue oh the sleeves are rolled that's cute as she gets older she can continue to wear it until it's just like a crop top like i could probably wear this as a crop top so it's a youth size small but it's like super soft too and so that's for Avery. And then for Reagan, they don't have a lot of stuff, like really cool stuff out right now. Obviously, it's their first year. I think after this year, we'll get some cool, cool t-shirts and stuff. So this is the one I got for Reagan. Hopefully coming to an Instagram picture near you because, oh, we have got to get a family picture and all of our stuff. It's going to be so cute. Obsessed. Had to talk myself out of buying a foam finger because I don't need one if I'm not going to a game but I kind of want one. <laughs> so anyway, I'll show you guys what we got. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, shoot. From the Amazon bookstore. A lot. Brian just like, oh, I forgot to put the Yeti thing away. Brian just like, he goes, it's Mother's Day. I want to spoil you and the kids. And I was like, ouch. So let's see. I think this is everything. So we let Reagan pick out a book. I love their kids section. It's just so cute. Uh, so we let her pick out a book course she picked out baby shark baby shark is her like absolute jam like loves baby shark she owns three baby shark like shirts and every time she's not wearing one she goes shark shark like she's mad that she doesn't have a baby shark shirt so this is just the pink fong meet the family baby shark book very cute i actually saw this as we were walking in and i was like this is so nice it's the hobbit okay which i think we already own the hobbit but I think it's the illustrated version. Yeah, it's an illustrated version. And also the text is not as small as the one we own. Cause like the one we own is this. Oh my gosh, it's calm. So, and it feels nice. It's like got a nice like smooth cover. So this is the great modern classic for all ages with new color illustration. So this is just The Hobbit. I thought it was really nice. So I wanted to get it cause I really liked it. Also Avery has been showing a lot of interest in Captain Underpants and I was like, well, okay so we found they had all of them but they had the first three yes the first three in a box set they also had the babysitters club in a box set and i was like don't tempt me because them amazon like the amazon bookstore everything you get is amazon prime prices so like i think this was only like 17 bucks maybe maybe it was 14 but like it wasn't expensive at all so this is the three, the first three. And then these are actually, when I read Captain Underpants as a kid, they were like paperback. These are all hard, like hard covers, which is so nice. So I can't wait to read these with her. I think she's really gonna enjoy that. And then Brian grabbed this for me. He knows I love stuff like this. I actually really love this book. And um, he thought it would look good on my bookshelf since my bookshelf is mostly thriller horror novels. So this is Scary Stories Tell in the Dark. I think the cover is really cool. Obviously, I've read this before. Um, oh, yeah. Three books to chill your bones. Ooh, well, gonna read those again. And then he grabbed this for himself because we were in the graphic novel section looking for, um, I knew it would be sold out, but like Invincible stuff. So if you've never seen Invincible, I've seen like parts of episodes. I haven't actually watched it all the way through. I've been told I need to watch it all the way through. Brian's obsessed with it. But he grabbed Watchmen because they didn't have Invincible and he's been wanting this anyway. And it's just a graphic novel, which is so cool. So. I actually really love that. I might actually read that too. But that is it for our little haul bit. 
We actually have to go get Avery here in about like 30 minutes, so ready to go do that. Wow, I look a lot different. It is um, Saturday, the kids are talking. 9.30 in the morning, let's go. We're gonna go get some breakfast and I think, I think we're gonna go to at home, which I'm really excited about. about. I've never been to an at home before. I think I may have talked about this in the vlog earlier. I don't quite remember. This lighting is not great. Um, we're parked, we're not, we haven't left yet. But um, I just want, I really want a floor length mirror and there's some other things I want to look at, but I watched Katie Vining, I'm obsessed with her. She did like an at home shop with me and I was like, I need to go. Hi. So we're on our way. We're gonna get some breakfast though first. I'm sweating, no makeup on. It's hot out already. Ugh, what a day. Hey Avery, where are we? Where are we? At home. At home. She made a big joke about it. She goes, Mommy, why are we going at home? <laughs> Mommy, what's at home? <laughs> but we're here, huh, Ave? Mm -hmm. Peekaboo. Mommy, I'm so excited we are at home. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this is actually the main reason that I wanted to go to at home because I saw her show um, a bunch of mirrors there, like a ton, and they were like really good prices and I've been wanting a mirror for this corner of our room, our bedroom, <laughs> twice, um, f uh, forever since we moved in. And I haven't found one I really like because this room has a certain theme. So like our dresser and nightstands are both from Target, but they're like this nice like kind of grayish wood. Um, and I could never find a mirror that really like accented that. But I found this one at, at home. It has like the gray, I need to take off this stuff, you know, obviously. But it has that like light gray wood. It's a perfect size. Um, obviously I have to take all the tags and everything off. But it was $69.99, not a bad price, I don't think, considering a lot of the ones I was looking at were over 100. So this is not a bad price. We got a couple of other things. We got like a paper towel holder and um, a toilet paper holder for downstairs. Um, our theme for like downstairs is like, well actually our theme kind of transcends up into here because it is like wood but it has like black accents and I really like that. So yeah, we need to get a new bed frame. We've had this one for like six years. The cats have absolutely destroyed it. Like bad, bad, bad because they're nails and they stretch on it. So we need to get like a wooden frame, which is perfect because we can get something like this. But this was the main reason I wanted to go to at home. And I'm very happy with my purchase. I think it's, it's perfect, it's perfect. Okay, so the background's loud. Kids are watching a movie. I'm in my favorite spot in my house. I'm kidding, this is not my favorite spot. This is just where my butt happens to be 99% of the time. So it is Saturday, like I said, it's almost noon. And today is like my, today and tomorrow are like my work days. Yesterday was, oh my God, sorry. Yesterday was like my fun rest day off where I do not have to work on Fantasy Wax, but today I need to get my butt in gear. Oh my God, our umbrella just flew away. I'm gonna go get that. But quickly, um, I'm not gonna vlog too much of what I'm working today because I did do in the day in the life of like working as a small business owner. So if you wanna see that, um, that video was uploaded a couple of weeks ago. I need to get that umbrella, so I'm gonna be working. I'll check in when something interesting happens. Hello, happy Sunday, happy Mother's Day. Yesterday vlogging was just like not the move. Um, I essentially worked all day. We actually did do some fun stuff, but we did it around our neighborhood, so I didn't feel super comfortable vlogging that because like, you know, personal reasons and stuff. But we did like go to a food truck that was at like our neighbor in our neighborhood, but it was annoying because we were starving. We got there like 40 minutes after the food truck was supposed to be there and they were supposed to be there for 30 or 30 for three hours. And we got there 30 minutes after they opened and they were sold out. And we walked quite a bit to get there because we were like, let's just go on a walk. So that kind of sucked, but we did have a fun day yesterday, mostly just work and stuff after, you know, I told you guys that. Today's Mother's Day. I am breaking out because I wore makeup, <laughs> which makes me so annoyed because like my, my skin usually is fairly decent, but this is like, this popped up as soon as I washed my face off. But a uh, pretty uneventful Mother's Day so far. I am currently uploading my video for tomorrow for me. And then I have to go back downstairs and get more work done because we're doing orders today. So I won't really vlog that or anything, but we do have plans to kind of do some outside stuff with the girls. Excuse me, I want to show you guys the girls. They're so cute. They have like little matching dresses on. They look just like so cute. 
um but yeah that's just kind of it just wanted to check in say happy mother's day and i'll see you guys in a second in the bathroom <laughs> hopefully this is not super weird but i did want to show you guys i was sent some products from manscaped no this video is not sponsored by them however they did send me some stuff and i wanted to show you guys because i've heard a lot of good things about this and the second that i told brian you guys know brian my husband um he was like super stoked because he's heard a lot about manscaped as well so although today is mother's day if you're looking forward to a month from now and you need to think of some really good father's day ideas to get any of the men in your life also low-key women this is amazing i have also used almost all of these products fantastic so they did send over this which i've used it's called the lawnmower 4.0 hilarious i have it plugged in right now i'll just show it to you but this thing is really nice brian used to use this like really junky one and he said when he used this that like he wasn't scared to use it like it felt comfortable to use super easy and it worked really really well it has like a bunch of different modes to it it's really cool so this is a lawnmower i also used it i also really enjoyed it this is one of the products i think one of the only products i've used so far and i really enjoy it so the lawnmower fantastic i have it plugged in next to my toothbrush right now which is kind of funny and then i also have this which i think both of these together make a pretty awesome gift so this is the ultra smooth package i saved all the packaging everything's been put away so this comes with a razor with five replacement heads which is like so nice and it comes in a really nice little compact case like this really cute i personally prefer men's razors i feel like you get a much better shave but of course father's day this is cute nice little traveling case perfect and then you do also sorry these are over on our shelf you get two different like products like this so this is the crop gel which is clear groin shaving gel and then this is the crop exfoliator which is a buffing and smoothing soothing <laughs> gentle exfoliant so the exfoliator and the shaving gel so this is like this all comes in the ultimate like ultra smooth package and then the lawnmower 4.0 comes by itself i personally prefer the lawnmower but i feel like if you're going to get a whole like thing for a, you know your dad or any man in your life again i also feel like this is a great like woman's gift too um the ultra smooth package is pretty cool i do have a 20 percent off link which i will put down below for you guys definitely check it out um I think it's pretty cool. I think Father's Day, great, great gift. Again, Manscaped, thank you for sending this to me. Um, again, not sponsored, but uh, super stoked about everything. So, yeah. Avery's over here making a little mini mart. Yeah, it's oh, different. What are these all? Shopkins, and then these are the, um, what Min are these? The mini, mini brands? Yeah, mini brands from different ones. So, how are you setting it up? I'm trying to make everything different, but only the free things I only only the frozen back, stuff yeah back. and the same thing but I'm gonna make it different if all the ice creams are gonna be even different in them's own room that's pretty cool I like that idea and I, and I found this new shock and it's a little sad little basket let me see oh here let's see if we can focus on it <laughs> so cute and I see Mini brand is one of these ones. Yeah, it's the one golden one you got, huh? Yeah, because you were saying, oh my gosh, we got a golden. You know, we've never gotten a golden before, huh? Yeah, can we get another one? We can try. When we see a mini brand again with a golden, we have to get it. And we have to scream. Ah! Not at Target. We can only scream at home. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I don't want to scream in the store. Yeah, because everybody will hear you and get it, and now we'll be safe. Yeah. Uh oh. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> he comes it's running up the stairs. It's a tiger dad. It's a tiger dad. You're not like not in focus at all. This camera sucks. There you go. Or maybe I was literally about to tell you, you need to clean your lens. It's Mommy. Covered. Covered in. Mom. Covered in your face. Mom. Mom. Don't mind the messy background. We're washing the sheets currently. But anyway, I got my jersey on. I'm so stoked. The game starts in 15 minutes. We went outside for like 30 minutes and it got real hot. So we came in. So, game starts in 15. Brian just went to go pick up pizza and wings. I, per my request, I love pizza and wings while watching a game. Let me turn this around. I always find it so strange when people vlog in the mirror. I'm like, okay. But anyway, I'm stoked. I got my jersey on. Ready to watch this game. Our starting lineup is so good. 
We have someone who usually subs in starting and I'm stoked because he deserves a chance because every time he subs in, he's just like perfect. Anyway, I'm stoked. I'm taking a minute to like pause working, but I need it, you know? I can't, I can't work constantly. So I'll probably be up super late tonight, but I'm cool with that. This jersey this is so comfortable. We better freaking win, man. I'm I'm just so stoked. We're two and one right now. Two and one. Two and one. I'm ready to be three and one. So let's head back down. All right, ending the vlog on a sad note. It is 8.53 p.m. Both kids are asleep, which is actually pretty positive. Will they stay asleep? Hope so. Uh, we just finished the Austin FC and Sporting Kansas City game. <sighs> Had them in the first half, not gonna lie. We had a really great goal about seven minutes in. I jumped out of my seat. I was screaming. It was so awesome. I'm angry. We had a guy out. Get thrown out. Card. We got the red card. He got thrown out. So Yeah, it, was, it sucked. But they'll learn from this. this is, it's their first year as a team. I can't be mad. You know, as someone who was a Cleveland Browns fan for many years, I can take a loss. But it hurts coming off of two pretty great wins, right? Bit. Yeah. But we're gonna do orders. It's nine o'clock at night. We gotta get these orders done because I wanna get them dropped off at the post office tomorrow because we are starting Jaws Sneaks tomorrow. And I'm like actually so pumped about the Jaws bundle. It's like all summer scents. Which one's your favorite? Um, hold on, Well, my personal favorite is the one that's called Shark. It's got like a salty, like beachy smell to it. It's like really like a little masculine, but not quite. It's okay, very good. Okay. That one. It's yeah, good, right? Yeah, I, I love that. It's like a little masculine, but not quite. It's very like beach and like cool. sand. Not really though. Which one's your favorite? The gray? Is that the pina colada one? Yeah. You're like, a dork. I like pina well, anyway, we're gonna end the vlog here. Baby, I'm gonna get copyright. Your voice is really good. All right, well, we're gonna end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a crappy Mother's Day because my team lost. But you're the real winner because you have us. Am I? All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video.